Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Before we jump into today's video, just want to give a shout out to a great friend, Mike Curtis over at Mike's Knives, got some fantastic content. It mainly features on shorts, and that's sort of his style, that's what he likes to do, does you know the 50 minute shorts of his case knives. Absolutely huge collection, I believe he has close to a thousand knives in his collection now. Make sure you check him on Instagram as well, he's a fantastic guy. I was just speaking to him last night, he went to a case event where he met up with Doom Crew Outdoors and Georgia Adventurer. Uh, he picked up some great pieces and he's also managed to get two of the case event knife. So stay tuned and check out his channel to see what that is and you know what it comes, the configuration, things like that. But once again, yeah, go check out Mike. So Mike, thanks again for doing a sticker swap with me. I really do appreciate it. Just pop that up there in the corner. And then into the video of today, we're going to be looking at another Victoria Knox knife. As you all are aware, if you're familiar with my channel, I'm pretty much obsessed and down this massive rabbit hole of Swiss Army knives. And today is no exception. Comes in a standard style box. You've got the Victoria Knox logo there and Victoria Knox written underneath. Victoria Knox since 1884, the original Swiss Army knife. The Amazon logo, that's where I purchased it from here in the UK. So I'm having a sale at the moment. Swiss made, plain on that end. Do have the contact information for their sort of address in Switzerland, their EU contact details and their website. And at the end here you can see this is the Swiss Army 2 0.8060.26. Wish they would sort of do something with their model numbers, but like that's their thing, that's what they do, and at least they give them a name as well, rather than just a model number. But yeah, that's a bit of an obscure one, it's quite a long one, normally it's about four or five digits long. Inside the box then you get some literature. Uh, you've got the usual sort of stuff, how to maintain and care for your pocket knife, oil the joints, how to clean it, things like that. Uh, it must be a pretty generic thing because it's got things about tools that aren't actually on this particular one. But then again, it's still got some useful information, different bits and pieces, how to care for it, all that sort of stuff, all the good stuff really. So this is really handy to have. <clears throat> and here it is, the Victoria Knox Swiss Army 2. You can see this sort of grenade pattern sort of milled alloy scales here. Do have nickel silver pins, I believe. Well, they could be brass, I'm not 100% sure. I do have the Victorian Ox logo here with the red inlays and nothing really to be said about the fit and finish. Absolutely immaculate, like 99.999% of Victorian Ox knives are. You may get the odd one with the tiniest bit of blade rub, but I think in my collection I don't have any. I have seen a couple about, but there's none currently in my collection. It's a one layer design, as you can see, and as its name lends to the Swiss Army 2, it is a two function knife. So very close in relation to the Swiss Army 1, where it does have on the front the large spear blade. Do you have the Victorian Ox tank stamp there? Oh, there's a newer one, so you can see you've got Victorian Ox Swiss made and stainless and that's what I believe you have on that side and then on the reverse it is just plain on the ALOX on the normal Swiss Army knives you would have Officer Swiss but obviously this is you know it, it's not part of the Swiss Army knife collection it's just a Swiss Army 2 <clears throat> they have a slightly different sort of tang stamp you see they have included like a little plate on the back here which you can get engraved um, I do have one of these with my name engraved on it, but obviously I won't show that on the channel. Different, maybe you get your birthday engraved in there, or someone's birthday if you're giving it as a gift. I do think this would be a really great knife to give someone as a gift, especially in the UK. It's a nice sort of slender, elegant design. Easy to slip in and out of a pocket, very unoffensive, and something that no one's going to get offended by. So it is a 91mm, and we're looking at a standard sort of length of 1, 2, 3, 3.6, 3.7 inches there. And then one of the reasons I picked this one up is the secondary blade on it. It's a blade I've not seen on any other Victorian Ox knife. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, if you have seen on other knives. I believe it might be on the Swiss Army 7, but apart from that, I've not seen anything else. And it's this sort of almost like a hawkbill blade. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's very different, but it's absolutely brilliant for opening packages. Maybe the packages that are like the clamshell, you know, with like the plastic enclosure, you can really sort of get behind it. It's excellent for sort of peeling apples or peeling veg, anything like that. It has that sort of nice recurve in there to make that possible. Also, you know, good for opening boxes, things like that. You can do the draw cuts. 
one of the, those sort of really versatile blades you can use it for pretty much anything and for this sort of reason if you work in a factory or an office here in the uk and you're constantly opening parcels opening letters uh, maybe you you know you work in a warehouse where you get products in to resell you've got to open all the boxes things like that i think this would be a perfect knife for you it's nice and slender and just that blade is so versatile for opening packages and then just on your lunch break, just give it a bit of a strop or at the end of the day, give it a bit of a strop and you're good to go again. I think that would be a fantastic tool for you to use. It's something that you could sort of just leave open on your desk like that. No one's going to get offended by that. It's a tiny little blade. We're looking at a full measurement of 1.6 inches and then a cutting edge of uh, like 1.25. So it's very small but a very useful handy blade, something I would definitely recommend. It's one I've been using pretty much to unbox everything I've had in in the last sort of week. Um, it, it pretty much just lives on my mat here at the moment, like that. I've just sort of put it up the top and use it wherever. But yeah, definitely recommend this one. And of course I mentioned it before, the big spear blade, something maybe you could use if you're having lunch with, with you know, peeling an apple, things like that when you're in the office. Again, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a larger blade, but Victoria Knox and the Swiss Army brand are well known enough here in the UK and all over the world that people know no, you're not getting this out to like, you know, be dangerous with or be offensive with. It's it's purely just a little pocket knife. Uh, main blade we're looking at uh, one, two, just under three inches and then a cutting edge of one, two, pretty much bang on two and a half, I guess, maybe a hair less. But a very useful knife, one that you guys should pick up if you're definitely into the Victorinox knives. Nice slender, easy carry, something you could put in a slip or maybe just slip in your, you know, your shirt pocket or, you know, you know, the top pocket on your shirt. That'd be great for carry for that. But there we go, guys. That's my review of the Victorinox Swiss Army 2. Two very useful blades, very simple, elegant design and one that I reckon anyone that works, you know, like a warehouse, things like that, in an office or maybe if you're just a collector, just pick one up and give it a go really do rate this blade here something different from victorian arcs with this um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and i'll catch you in the next one peace out